Hi, I am Amit Lunkard. In this video, we discuss about the limit test for lead. Limit test is nothing but the one of the tests for determination of purity. Limit test is nothing but the quantitative or semi-quantitative method used to control and identify the impurities which are likely present in substance. The limit test for lead is nothing but we identify the lead impurities which are present in substance. Lead impurity if it is present in substance which is very harmful. So here in this video we discuss about how to identify this lead impurity in substance. The basic principle involved in this the reaction involved in this limit test for lead. Firstly, we discuss about the basic principle involved in limit test for lead as per IP. The limit test for lead which is based on a reaction between lead impurities and diphenyl thiocarbazone that is diethiazone in alkaline solution to form a lead diethiazone complex which is violet in color. The lead present as impurity is firstly extracted using diethiazone extraction solution. The interference by other metal ions is avoided using reagents like ammonium citrate, potassium cyanide and hydroxylamine hydrochloride. The color of diethiazone in chloroform is green while that of complex is violet. The comparison of color in test and standard solution is done. So if the test solution having a color intensity which is less than that of the standard then it complies the limit test for lead as per IP. So let's here discuss the reaction. So lead if it is present in substance then it reacts with diethiazone and in alkaline medium it form a complex which is lead diethiazone complex and which is having a violet color. So here for this limit test for lead we perform a comparison method. Now the procedure for limit test for lead for that you have to make test solution and standard solution. Here we firstly discuss how to prepare the test solution. For that a known quantity of sample solution is transferred in a separating funnel. To this add 6 ml of ammonium citrate then 2 ml of potassium cyanide and 2 ml of hydroxylamine hydrochloride followed by 2 drops of phenol red. Phenol red which can be acts as an indicator. After that make the solution alkaline by adding ammonia solution. After that you have to extract this with 5 ml of diethiazone in chloroform solution until it becomes green. These diethiazone extracts are shaken for 30 seconds with 30 ml of nitric acid and the chloroform layer is discarded. To this acid solution add 5 ml of standard diethiazone solution and 4 ml of ammonium cyanide. Shake for 30 seconds and there is a formation of color. So this is the procedure for preparation of test solution. Then for the preparation of standard solution a standard lead solution is prepared equivalent to the amount of lead permitted in sample under examination. Like you have to prepare the lead solution having 1 ppm lead in that. Then you have to follow the same procedure which we use for the preparation of test solution. Like addition of 6 ml ammonium citrate, 2 ml potassium cyanide, 2 ml hydroxylamine hydrochloride, 2 drops of phenol red, then alkaline the solution by adding ammonia, then extract with 5 ml diethiazone in chloroform solution until it becomes green. Then diethiazone extracts are shaken for 30 seconds with 30 ml of nitric acid 
and chloroform layer is discarded and to the acid solution add 5 ml standard dithiazone solution 4 ml of ammonium cyanide and again shake for 30 seconds it gives a color so you have to compare this color of standard solution and test solution if the test solution produce color in color having less intensity than to that of standard solution then it complies the test as per ip limit and if it having a higher color intensity then it does not complies the limit test so here we discuss about the basic principle involved in limit test for lead the reaction and the procedure for this limit test for lead hope all of you getting this thank you happy learning